Hey guys, Tom McManus here. Hope you're doing well. Just wanted to uh, say hello and, and catch back up after my great visit with you not too long ago at, at your school up there in Memphis. It was an honor to the dads. Thank you. And to all those young kids, I really appreciate it. You know, I can remember being your age. I can remember, you know, wondering, you know, what I'm going to be, what I'm going to do. And, and I knew it. I knew it from an early age. I wanted to be a ball player. I didn't know how I was going to get there. I didn't know how that opportunity would arise, but I knew what I wanted at a young age. And I think that's good. I do. I think you should dream big. I think you should dream big and then be ready to work for it. Be ready to really just do whatever it takes to realize that dream. I do think we need to be well-rounded, though, too. Make sure that you're covered. You know, sometimes dreams don't work out. Sometimes they end. And a new dream, you know, takes place. That happened with me, you know, with my football career. When I was 29 years old, I, I hurt my right foot and I never played uh, football again. I didn't think it was over at the time. I thought I'd continue to play, but sometimes things happen and you got to be able to bounce back. You have to be a tough individual because it is tough out there. Uh, no question about it. But you know what? Life is great. Life can be as great as you want it to be. And, uh, and I know we all do, you know, and it's one thing to say it, it's another thing to live it. And I hope you continue to live it every single day. I know you've got a great school up there. Your dads really care about you. Uh, if they didn't, they wouldn't even be at the father-son dinner and being part of your life. And, and dads, you know it. You know, you can be as successful, you know, in business, in your profession, whatever that may be. But the most important job is the legacy that that we leave behind as dads, you know, and I meant it when I said it. I hope my three girls look at me and, and their mother like, like I look at my parents, you know, and like we a lot of us look at our parents, and it's important. It's that circle of life, you know, teaching them how to be in this world, teaching those young boys to be men, and I love the, uh, I love the program, Raising Boys, Making Men. We need great men in this country, great leaders, great innovators, inventors, um, le leading people, whatever the case may be, and we all have it in us. There's no doubt about that. So whether you want to be a, an airplane pilot or, or an athlete or a teacher or a lawyer or a doctor and an inventor, it, it doesn't matter. You can be those things. You can. I've seen it. I've seen it firsthand. I've witnessed it. I've experienced firsthand, and I've seen it firsthand. And, and I just want you young boys to know that, that I care about you, and I want you to do well. I want you to always remember that you'll never give up. I want you to say that to yourself. Mom and dad, say it to your parents. I will be as great as I can be. You know, if mom and dad aren't around for whatever reason, the good Lord has taken them or whatnot, you know, say it to yourself. I'm going to be the best I can be in everything I do because it's important. It's very important. And even at the young age uh, that you're at now. So keep up the great work. Keep dreaming. Keep believing. Keep working. Keep being a good kid. Hey, I didn't get to mention it during the uh, the talk, but you know I'm, I'm a big proponent of anti-bullying. Nobody should be bullied. Nobody. And you know what? It's leaders like you, you young kids, that step in and stand up to bullying. Because what what is bullying? You make somebody sad. That's what starts. Someone gets sad. You don't want to make anybody sad. I know you don't because you don't like feeling that way. So why would you make anybody else feel that way? God made us all different. We all learn differently. We all achieve differently at different times. You know, and some people, you know, some kids may be ahead of you in certain things at certain points, but that doesn't mean you can't get to where you want to go. You just have to work hard, right? You look at look at school. Some kids can can you know get straight A's and barely even study. Some kids have to work really hard to get straight A's. But at the end of the day, what do they both have? They both have straight A's. So you can get there if you want to. You can get there and uh, and do whatever you want and take care of one another. Take care of one another. You know, eventually you're going to go to middle school, then high school, and then on to college and wherever from there. Um, but uh, it's important the way you behave now. So don't let bullying happen in your school. Bullying in school is not cool. And uh, I hope you all say that one day. Maybe you'll send me a video on that. But bullying in school is not cool. Let's take care of one another. That's what this world needs. We need more peace. We need more love. And we, we need more leadership and understanding. And I thank you so much for, for having me at your school and being attentive and listening to what I had to say. 
You know, I, I think about things all the time, and I think about my dad all the time, and, and my mother, and they did great jobs. They did it the right way, and at the end of the day, that's what we must do, right? I tell my girls all the time, they have only a few jobs in this world. Do, do their best in school, treat people the right way, and be good kids. Respect their mom and dad. It's important. Obey your mother and father. Right, it's it's the fourth commandment in our Bible. So uh, let's live it. All right, all the best to each and every one of you, dads. Thanks so much. God bless you. I tell you what, you're doing a great job. Keep up the great work, and we'll see you soon, huh? I'll send you a video down the road and check in. But thanks. I really enjoyed my time up there at PDS in Memphis, and uh, I hope to be back one day. All the best. Continue raising boys, but making men. We'll see you next time.